say the season ended right now in the men's 100 for the U.S. Because we, we talked about DeGrasse last time. We said he's the best men's combo 100, 200 guy in the world. But second to him at the Prefontaine Classic was Fred Curley, who ran 978 wind aided, but just behind DeGrasse. So if we just pretend that the season ended right now, which it's not, so we have to reserve the right to change our opinion. Going into 2022, what would be your ranking for U.S. men's 100 meter runners? Going into 2022. Okay. Yeah. So he, here's who you can choose from. Well, I can choose from anyone, right? Right. Well, you can go. I'll give you some names. I'll just give you some names. Okay. This is how, this is how they finished it pre Curly, Baker, Bromel, Norman, Gatlin went two, three, four, five, six. You have Noah Lyles. You also have Kenny Benarek, and you have Christian Coleman coming back. Those are some notable names. And I can you pick DeGrasse as well, right? No, um, Americans. Americans. Oh, oh, do Americans. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Americans. So what's my American top five? Top five. Yep. In the 100, not the 200, in the 100. Just in the 100. See, I'm glad I went through all these rules. <laughs> all right. This is hard because there's two factors. If you had to do it today, number one would be Fred Curley. But the question is, if you had to do it a year from now, Will Bromel or Christian Coleman, will Bromel find a way to get back? Because I feel like the best of Bromel can beat Curly. Because we've seen that, right? When Bromel was at his best, he beat Curly at USA's. And the best of Coleman, I can think, can beat everyone, right? Because Coleman is world champ in 2019. So the mm -hmm. question is, you're kind of betting on the abilities of Bromel to get back to where he was in the, his June form. Or Christian Coleman to get back to his 2019 form. But if neither of those do it, then it's Fred Curley's mantle to hold on to. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to say because Christian Coleman has the bye, because he has that 2019 championship bye, I think he won't need to be as on in the beginning. Because this is who this is going to be how I think they're going to finish at USA's. That's what I'm going to say. That's the way. Because that's the only time they're all trying, right? I would say mm -hmm. I think it will be Bromel, Curley, Coleman, Baker, Lyles, Kenny B. Okay. Well, that's that's your rankings. rankings. Those are your rankings. That's my ranking. Those are those are your ten months before the meet rankings. I'm but just I curious because it. it's fa it's 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 a fascinating question because you have people going in all directions. You have people coming back from suspensions. You have this whole idea of people switching events, which is way more relevant now than it was before because of what Fred Curley did. So I think you look at someone like Norman and you take that hundred a bit more seriously because you're thinking, oh, okay, well, it it worked for Fred Curley. Obviously, he's phenomenal and what he did was was sensational this year but there's just there's just a huge group of of people there here's one name and you mentioned him but you mentioned him at the end and i know you're gonna say hey kevin don't dig that hole again but i'm gonna dig the hole again watch out for lyles okay <laughs> because 1952 if he's in 1952 yeah. 200 meter shape he's gonna be good in the hundred now his hundreds in 20 21 weren't his best, but that was also when he was running, you know, the 197s and the 198s. So if Lyles can stay in that 195 range, his 100 is going to be good. Is it going to be good enough to be number 1? No, but I would think he'd be able to fall into that into that top 3. So so you're going you said Bromel, Curly, Coleman, your top 3? Yeah, so I'm I'm keeping Bromel and Coleman in the top three because they're the only guys who have run nine seven, right? Bromel's run nine seven seven. Coleman's run nine seven six. Legal. legal, yeah, yeah, legal. And I Curly is my top three because Curly's been now showing he's Mister Consistent, right? Mm -hmm. 
I just, you know, I don't want people to think my order of my top three matters because it doesn't in my mind. I think the top three, they're all like 1As, but I just have to pick an order. So I, I went Bromel, Curly, Coleman. Um, I do think, obviously, because Coleman doesn't count towards the top three, that fourth place spot is going to be huge. Um, it's just, it's so hard. Because then you also have like these other guys, like Marvin Bracey, who's won 9 eight. Baker. You have Baker. Ba- uh, Baker, who I mentioned, yeah, and then you have a um, like I say, a young has run. Did I say a young run nine eight? Yeah, there's like a yeah. bunch of guys who are running nine eight. Uh, it's just yeah, Michael Williams, who's young. I mean, he was born in two thousand one. Like yeah, it's not he's not supposed to be good yet, right? He still has a few years to kind of get back into his what his true peak can be. It's just it's so hard to understand pick the order. 